How do you know if you have a rare penny? In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know to make sure you aren't missing any rare penny worth potentially thousands of dollars. Welcome back to All Money Prices. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn more about rare coins and paper money, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's jump right into this video. Up first, we have a 1955 one cent Lincoln head penny double die obverse graded by PC Jesse Mint say 65 red. So let's get the obvious out of the way. This is a double die obverse. You can see immediately the motto at the top, liberty to the left and the date at the right, there is doubling happening here. If your 1955 penny has this doubling, you've come across something very, very valuable. Next, this was created by PCGS and Mint State 65. The two biggest grading companies you want to use are either PCGS or NGC. The highest achievable grade you can get in grading is 70. This one is only five points away from that perfect grade of 70. You can tell there are some nicks and gashes that are very minor, but it's still graded really high. Because this coin has a double die obverse, it's from 1955 and it graded really highly, this penny that someone might have found in circulation or someone handed it down to them in a collection, once they got it graded, they sent it off to auction and this coin sold for $32,200. Up next, we have a 1924 S one cent Lincoln penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 65 red. So this is a 1924 S. You see that S mint mark there below the date that stands for the San Francisco mint where the coin was minted. This is a tougher date. So if you have a 1924 penny and it has the S estimate mark even in the lower grades. You know, if your coin looks like it's beat up and damaged, you could have something that's still worth hundreds or thousands of dollars, but because this one graded so highly at the mint state 65 grade, this one sold for $36,000. Up next, we have a 1918D one cent penny graded by PCGS, a mint state 67 red. That 67 grade is so high for the penny. The D that you see below the date there stands for the Denver mint where this coin was minted. Depending where your coin was minted either at the San Francisco, the Philadelphia, or the Denver Mint will depend on how much your coin is worth, but I would say a bigger thing is the condition. If the condition is really nice for your 1980 coin, regardless where it was minted, it's going to be worth good money. This coin sold for $45,600. Here we have a Mint Error coin. So this is a 1922 no D one cent strong reverse coin graded by PCGS, a Mint State 64 Brown. So the biggest thing you want to see here is your 1922 penny not not having a mint mark under the date there. One thing you want to look out for if you're buying or selling your 1922 penny, watch out for if that mint mark is removed by someone. There are people out there that will alter these coins to make them look like this rare air when they're actually not. So if you come across a 1922 penny and someone wants to sell it to you for a few dollars, it may not be worth it and they want to sell it to you for hundreds of dollars because you know by watching my videos that this coin is worth a lot more money than that. Watch out because this coin sold for 54 $4,625 because it graded so highly and it's missing that D mint mark. So again, be cautious. You need to know what you're looking out for. Whenever I go to buy my 1922 pennies, I make sure that there's no alteration going on because it's easy for someone to scrape off that mint mark there and say that they have a rare error, but anyone like myself or any other coin experts are going to be able to tell that it is an altered coin. But again, if you have a genuine 1922 penny, it's going to be worth a lot of money regardless of the grade. Here's a 1916D one cent Lincoln penny graded by PCGS, a mint state, 67 red. So this 1916 penny was minted at the Denver Mint, and because it graded so highly, I mean, it's really, really hard for these really early dated pennies to be grading this highly. That pretty much means it was put in a collection and never touched for a very, very long time, and this coin, this one little penny, sold for $58,750. One of my favorite coins, this is a 1909S VDB one cent penny graded by PCGS in Mint State, 67 red. If you flip the coin over and look on the bottom center of the coin, you will see the initials VDB. Those were the initial engraver and designer of this coin. That's the biggest thing you want to tell on these coins. This is also minted at the San Francisco Mint. You can see that underneath the date there. This is a really, really tough date to find. Even without the S mint mark, this coin be, can be worth a lot of money if it is graded very highly, just like this one at the 67 grade. And this coin sold for $117,500. That's right, $117,000. Here's a 1914 one cent proof 68 
8 coin graded by PCGS. Now it's hard to find these in the proof appearance here. You can tell you have a proof coin if the backdrop behind Lincoln there is shiny and it looks a mirror. This one also has a little bit of toning happening. You can see around the edges there, it looks more orange than typical. There's no mint mark here around the date. That means it was struck at the Philadelphia mint. And because this one graded as a proof 68, that's only two points away from the perfect grade of 70, this coin sold for $126,500. Here's a 1926S one cent penny graded by PCGS, a mint state, 65 red. So it's challenging to find this coin in high grades, but if you have a 1926 penny from the San Francisco mint like this one, even in the low grades, it's gonna be worth good money. This coin sold for a whopping $149,500. Hit that subscribe button, it really does help out with these algorithms. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next video.